There's tonight video just into our newsroom. A school bus set on fire, and the suspects are little boys. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear is live now from Crown Heights, section of Brooklyn, with the very latest on this. Brian? Uh, guys, people simply cannot believe that an 11 year old boy would allegedly torch this school bus. Take a look with me over here. The burned out shell is still here more than 24 hours later. The steering wheel, the driver's seat completely melted. Even a student's Hebrew homework left on the step behind. Watch what unfolds in this surveillance video in Crown Heights. You see a group of boys, age 11 to 14, according to police, running onto an empty school bus, their arms full of cardboard. The driver had just dropped off students outside the Benos Chomesh Orthodox Jewish School for Girls on Brooklyn Avenue around 6 p.m. Sunday, and he left the door open. Soon after the boys boarded through the windows, you see an orange glow after one of them lights something on fire near the middle of the bus. Then a second fire is started near the driver's seat. As the the flames grow and the smoke fills the bus. The boys run, but one comes back on a bike and even snaps a photo. Eventually, the entire bus is engulfed in flames. This is crazy. I, I'm really shocked at what I'm looking at right now. Neighbors are stunned by the charred wreckage left behind, and even more surprised when they hear an 11 year old boy is charged with arson and criminal mischief. It's extremely disturbing. Benjamin Lifshitz is a neighborhood watch volunteer whose team helped police find the boy. The age of these kids, they're young children. Where are they getting this from? What's teaching them to do such things? Police are still looking for five or maybe even six more boys, and they may all be charged with a hate crime. That's sad for their age. It's really sad. This makes you often, you know, wonder where are the parents? What are the parents doing? Now, because of the boy's age, his case is being heard in family court. And tonight, the NYPD confirmed that they are looking into another incident involving kids about the same age last week, allegedly throwing rocks or a brick at another school bus just like this one. Reporting live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. Okay, Brian, now 